Hi friends, welcome back to Rational Gamer YouTube channel. This is your host once again, Evil Namsis. And today we are going to review Dawn Bradman Cricket 17. It is the second game from Big Ant Studios. And first, let's have a look at the controls. What has changed since Dawn Bradman Cricket 14? So, if we look at the manual from the Dawn Bradman Cricket 14 game, you can see the batting controls are left trigger plus right trigger for aggressive grounded shots just like Don Bradman Cricket 17. Same goes for aggressive shots and defensive shots. But the change here I can see is that you can advance up the crease using the right bumper. But if we look at the Don Bradman Cricket 17 controls, with the right bumper you can play precision shots and that's something new in the Dawn Bradman Cricket 17. With the precision shots you can take quick singles and twos just like I have mentioned in my previous video with the pro batting tips. So if you haven't checked that already make sure you check that video first. Then we have unorthodox shots with the left bumper this time on Dawn Bradman Cricket 17. But on the Don Bradman Cricket 14, we also have the unorthodox shot with the left bumper. Return to crease with the B button. Refuse run with the B button. Don Bradman Cricket 14 once again. Put placement is set with the left analog. This time foot placement can be set with the left analog as well. But furthermore, you can change the crease positioning as you can see here with the left stick. Furthermore, you can do the same thing in the Don Bradman Cricket 14 adjust footing. Then we have short type direction with the right stick. Same thing here. Dive, cancel run and run queue. And if we look at the Don Bradman Cricket 17 controls, dive, cancel run and run queue with the same buttons. Running between wickets, you can press the up on the D-pad to walk instead of running. And Let's see if we have the same thing here and it is in the running between the wickets. No, we cannot walk when running between the wickets. So you can take all your time and compare both the batting and bowling controls on these two games or you can simply check just the manual or the controls video for the specific game. I have uploaded that as well. Now it's time to run the game. So let's get started with the Don Bradman Cricket 17. In this video, we'll have a look at what's new, what has improved, as Big Ant claims AI has improved much, but the biggest change. I have seen in Don Bradman Cricket 17 is hmm that's a surprise so make sure you subscribe okay here we are at the main menu and if I go to the settings menu go to general settings you can see the current resolution I'm running this game on and there are so many problems running this game smoothly on your computer. I had wasted three to four hours uh, in try to running this game smoothly on my PC and whenever I get some free time I will upload and create a new video on how to get maximum frames 
in this game these are the settings i would recommend you apply if the game is running slow on your pc all of these just copy these settings and after the graphic settings let's go to the gameplay settings and we have replays set to all or none units of measurement score format ball trail assisted fielding semi assisted fully assisted manual i will always play on semi assisted fielding objective notification skip to play a pro player notification i don't know what is that show remote players that is disabled then we have camera settings and this is important in this game so bowling camera i like to set it on bowling close for the fielding camera i set it to fielding 2 and for the batting camera i set it on batting 4 which is the default camera anyway for the running camera i also set it to fielding 2 so you can change all these camera settings and choose whatever you like that's just personal preference and there are so much to choose from then you have two player bowling camera two player fielding camera and we can apply different filters on the screen vibration is enabled invert bowling is disabled but it is enabled for two player this is all the settings i have shown you now it's time to go back by pressing the circle on the dualshock 3 controller i'm using the wireless dualshock 3 controller to play this game and yes you need a controller to play this game otherwise you can use a tool or program to convert the controller into keyboard but i would not recommend that method the big change here let's talk about those gameplay modifiers this is a new menu this time and this is really helpful before we had only three to four difficulties like uh, rookie uh, easy pro veteran and legend we have the same difficulties this time as well but let's go to the game modifiers gameplay modifiers and let me tell you what we have here first we have a difficulty slider so try to understand what i'm about to tell you we have easiest easy medium hard hardest difficulty so that's one two three four and five difficulties so these difficulties affect how you bowl and bat so this is not how the ai plays in the game how they bowl or how they bat first point so as i change any of these difficulties take a note how the sliders move if you want you can also adjust these sliders according to your choice and it says ideal foot plant window size and the top one says ideal release window size and this is all about bowling take a note of the heading it says bowling dash custom difficulty so what is custom difficulty that you will know in few minutes but for now let's just concentrate on these difficulties i would suggest you start on easy difficulty don't try to go even on the medium difficulty as this game is tough so start with the medium uh, easy difficulty and if you think the game is too easy for you like you can easily take wickets or hit shots for boundaries for fours and for sixes then step up to medium then step up to hard and i don't know if you want to try the hardest one so i will choose easy here and here come the batting difficulty same thing here all these sliders to modify the difficulty for the game plus you can choose 
the easy medium hard hardest here as well so say for bowling you can go with the medium difficulty and for the bearing you can choose the easy difficulty and vice versa you name it and for the batting i will also choose the easy difficulty so these all sliders are set now for custom difficulty to work you may need to adjust the slider on your own so first one says ball marker display time i want you to set it all the way towards the right or at least near 80 if you suck at batting in this game or in the door bradman cricket 14 game just set it to 100 or 80 or 70 something like that i find that 80 is good for me but as the difficulty says easy this is set to custom just like i said before wait few minutes and you will get to know how to choose the custom difficulty so these sliders will only affect in custom difficulty so if you choose any other difficulty then the custom difficulty when starting a match these sliders won't be in effect same thing for all other sliders short timing difficulty if you are having uh, trouble timing the ball you can decrease this value foot placement difficulty same thing here just increase or decrease it if you want to be harder just increase it ball quality influence short choice difficulty if you are having problem with foot foot placement uh, going back back foot or front foot i will recommend decreasing this slider as well then we have physics sliders which are always active meaning regardless of the selected difficulty they are always will be in effect pace bowling speed so if you want the bowler to throw highest speed balls at you then you can increase this slider just for the experiment and if you want to say face Shweb Akhtar today just increase this slider pace bowling speed max spin bowling bounce spin bowling flight pace bowling swing pace bowling revolutions spin bowling drifts spin bowling revolutions pitch friction and this is how long the ball travels and how the grass tries to stop the ball and i love this one but i am leaving it on default 50. pitch bounce ball friction same thing here increase increasing this slider will increase the grip of the ball in all situations but the pitch friction says increasing this slider will increase the grip of the ball when it bounces on the pitch so see the difference here so i was talking about this one ball friction so if you want the ball to go slower just increase this slider and they these all sliders are always active regardless of any difficulty ball bounce and finally we have short force increasing this slider will increase the distance the ball can travel and the speed the ball can move after being hit see that's another a good one so all these sliders are self explanation uh, self explanatory so make sure you check all of these and if you want to set any slider back to its default value you can see in the bottom of the screen press the y key or the triangle key to set it to default value or press the x key on the xbox controller or the square key on the ps3 or ps controller to reset all sliders to default value but if you are happy with your settings just press the back or the circle key all the sliders are done i was planning on creating a separate video for these sliders or gameplay modifiers but i thought why not include it in the game review itself we have user statistics where you can see all the statistics for all the players 
Furthermore, this game also just like Don't Bradman Cricket 14 doesn't support official licenses for teams and players. Except I don't know about England and Australia, but they are officially licensed in Ashes Cricket 2017 Big and Cricket's third cricket game. We will review that game next. You can check the controls here. Too bad you cannot change them, so make sure you read them and have a good look at all of the batting, bowling and fielding controls. You can toggle between the controls with the R1 and L1 keys on the controller. Furthermore, what else we have here? You can go to the Don Bradman Cricket Academy to download latest themes if they work. I will link the real player names download file video in the description of this video. Let's go back. We have Cricket Academy, Cricket Studio, Match Designer, Career Mode. I am never interested in creating any career mode. Competitions. We can create competitions, play competitions, play a tour, go online and we can re resume a saved match. Just like Don Bradman Cricket 14, this game also saves regularly and that's what I like about these cricket games from Big Ant Studio. Furthermore, you can go to the training menu and you can play batting tutorials. I have already uploaded all the batting and fielding tutorials or bowling tutorials for this game on the Rational Gamer YouTube channel. Furthermore, you can play a batting game and be good at batting or bowling. Change the training ground, training player, nets training and even a ground training. So you have batting game and ground training. Two type of trainings plus the nets training. And also the tutorials. Let's go back. To start a match, just go to casual and Let's start a new match for women's or men's. We yet have to see if how good the AI is in this game. So to choose a side, if you are playing one player, just press the left on the D-pad on your controller. And if you are playing two players local, just plug in second controller wirelessly or with the wire and it should appear on the right side and choose that side or both of you can play on the same side if both of you press the left on the d-pad on your controller this game supports up to four players so if four controllers are attached to your pc or your console you can actually play two plus two you get the idea now if you want to spectate only, just press the confirm button, A button or the X button here or take a side and participate in the match. So let's confirm here where you set custom difficulty. As I said before, you can go with the hardest batting difficulty, hardest, hard, medium, easy, easiest. But if I choose any of these, but if I choose any of these difficulties, remember the settings we made in the gameplay modifiers sliders, those will be ineffective. And this is a very complicated difficulty settings of this game. And this is not over yet. So we have uh, three total difficulties here, batting and bowling. Then we have the AI difficulty, but we are yet not presented with the AI difficulty so just set it to custom if you have changed anything in the sliders and also the bowling difficulty set to custom or you can go with the easy or medium but to be on the safe side I will choose custom on both batting and 
volume difficulty and I will press the confirm button once again now it's time to choose the sides I will play as India press the X key also you can press the Y key or the triangle button to randomize league as you can see on the bottom of the screen or uh, pick a random team by pressing the square or the X after selecting India you need to choose an opposition team in this case it would be Ireland press X once again to go to the next screen and this is where you choose the location where you want to play the match obviously I'm selecting Ireland here so suppose India is touring Ireland and choose any stadium which are available just select random match type is five hours yeah that's good that's how we can also take a look at how the AI reacts in this game I was very disappointed by the AI of Don Bradman Cricket 14 even though I was playing that on the updated game and uh, if you haven't seen my Don Bradman Cricket 14 review make sure you check that out as well so here comes the most important thing match difficulty this is the difficulty for the AI so that how good the AI plays or balls or even fields depends on which difficulty you select here this is not the difficulty of bowling or batting this is the difficulty for the AI it is legend just like Don Bradman cricket 14 rookie amateur pro veteran and legend so we have one two three four and five difficulties here as well I would not recommend going to the legend straight from the scratch but I will recommend choosing amateur or pro here if you want real challenge choose pro or even veteran but for now I will just choose I will choose pro just to see how good the AI is here is the start time for the match pitch type is random pitch hardness is random and that's how I like them all everything set to random so they always change to something new whenever you play a new match then we have quick pitch wear I set it to on but it's a five hours match that's fine weather is random but you can change it to random no rain fine random why can't I choose rain here I don't know maybe it's a five hour match or maybe it's a problem with the location then you can choose the announcer for the match and two umpires that's all the settings you need to change let's play the game and here obviously you can fine-tune the batting lineup for each team you can make anyone captain wicketkeeper or customize lineup with the triangle or the Y key but if you are happy with the default lineup just press the X key furthermore you can change between ODI T20 and test lineups using the uh, L2 and R2 buttons or right trigger or left trigger buttons. so we are playing a five hours match so I will go with the T20 lineup confirm it captain is Virat Kohli wicket keeper is Mahinder Singh Dhoni and prime bowler is Ashish Nara and second bowler is Bhuvneshwar Kumar that's fine with me you can do the same with the Ireland yeah you can customize the opposition team lineup as well and make someone captain wicket keeper or change their prime bowlers as well let's go pitch is grassy pitch hardness is hard pitch condition varying pitch cracks light 
whether is random and stats other. Let's do this. Uniform. Yeah, we need to choose the uniform. T20 uniform would do. And T20 uniform would do. Let's play this. Here's the loading screen. And you can see many tips here regarding the difficulty, which I kept telling you about the three difficulties for the AI batting and bowling. You can read this here as well. And if I press R1 on my controller, I can switch to next tip, next tip, and next tip. When the game loads, you can read all these tips again and again with the R1 and L1 keys and press X when you are done. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Mike Coward and with me is James Taylor. Thanks a lot, Mike. Good to be with you all for this match. I've been out in the middle taking a look at conditions. Great conditions for cricket here, Mike. A big crowd will be pouring through the gates for the start of this one. Thank you, James. India are in with a strong chance here. Looking forward to seeing them in action. Let's head down now to the captains for the toss. Ireland won the toss and they are going to bat. That's good. And the first good thing I noticed about this game is that the commentary is improved. Over Don Bradman Cricket 14 especially. The graphics has improved as well. The ball physics are also improved. So right now we are playing in the custom difficulty for bowling and batting and for the AI we are playing in the pro difficulty. The wait is over. Here's the first ball. You can press the start or select key anytime on the controller to go to the, directly to the field editor but I suppose this is power play and I cannot do much and we can go to the preset fields and pick any one from the preset fields see yeah we can have three fielders outside that's good pace fc defense is the preset name and if i press square key a square button i keep saying the key as i mostly play on the keyboard so if i press the square button on the controller i can apply this field setting to all batsmen so i would like to do that the bowler is at the top of their run you can choose between standard in swing, slower, out swinger, and by holding down the L2 or the left trigger, you can choose another variation deliveries like off cutter, leg cutter, cross seam, and make sure you press the X key to deliver the selected delivery. So if I want to deliver leg cutter, I will press the X key when leg cutter is selected. Just like Don Bradman Cricket 14, we still have the um, classic controls here. So unlike Ashes Cricket 17 and Cricket 19 and Cricket 22, where we have the arcade style controls, we are only left with the classic controls here. This time I am delivering an in-swinger with the good length that was a good ball and as you can see my fielding cameras are also cool what do you think they take the single so i hit it the cameras from the dbc 14 is this four runs and that's four yeah even though I tried to push it back, the ball with the triangle key, I will deliver a good length ball, this time with the triangle key. Through the gap and four runs. Once again, four runs. And as you can see, we are on pro difficulty. 
This time I'm delivering a outswinger. Luckily the shot wasn't very powerful as it was also going for boundary. Is now on 10. Fielding is set to semi-assisted. Well, that looked nasty. They were quick. Near a bit expensive there. Island none for 12. The graphics are pretty neat for this game. Here's our second bowler, Bhuneshwar or Kumar, but you can always press the up on the D-pad and change the next bowler which is currently Ravichandar Ashwin as this is a 5 hours match and change fieldings for a specific batsman or by pressing the triangle key you can go to the field editor directly change wicket keeper position from normal to back up and normal same goes for slip positions and also inner fielder positions I don't know if we had all these options in the DBC 14 but if you have if you remember just let me know in the comment section if you deliver a bad ball the AI will surely punish you just one run added and that's what I have experienced with this, this game so far even though I haven't played it much let's go for and leg, a leg cutter this time but if you hold down the R2 key on your controller and with the right stick you can see the fielding for yourself just like the batsman that's cool let's do a leg cutter this time good length the AI looks smart to me nice save there and they even tried to take another run but on the right time they cancelled let's do an outswinger good length this is four is it yeah oh, that's been put away nicely for my taste the ball still travels too fast but what can we do we are playing in the pro difficulty let's do a bouncer this time also the off cutter i like this bowling camera close up ah Super you should have there. bought That's it man sure. and also you need to throw the ball back when the meter appears when you are fielding Oh God. You won't see much better than that. Superb cover drive. Here's the replay system. The ball, the game was so jerky for me when I first played it. And I had to tweak the game using my NVIDIA control panel. Let's do a, a standard delivery Yorker length. By the way, you can also make the ball go short or full length by holding down those keys which appear when your bowler is running I think it's right bumper and left bumper if you hold down those buttons then you can further make the ball pitch shorter or fuller so as soon as I select a delivery you can see those controls for spinners the controls are a different story and I would recommend practicing in the mini games and in the nets before you start a live match you can also control the flight and bounce for a spinner and that's a cool feature here that's a good length ball The 
Minnesota cuts that off well. The fielding meter is still very hard to control for me. Maybe that's why, maybe because we are playing in the pro difficulty, I'm not sure right now. So if I hold down my right analog stick on any location, say Dusra, then I can change the flight and also the bounce. And this is something I have noticed just now. The green should be good. And we need to rotate the left stick to add spin onto the ball, but that's no help at all. Because that's a six. Finally. Caught nicely diving to the right. So I didn't know that you have to press what key to take a catch. So maybe I accidentally press the right analog stick upwards or maybe the left analog stick or maybe the catch was somewhat automatic. I'm not sure because there are two type of catches in this game. One is reflexes catches which uh, appears suddenly just like uh, if you remember Ashes Cricket 09 or International Cricket 2010 from Codemasters. So let's see, let me look at the control by pressing the start button and go to controls, settings. Let's see what you should have to press to take a catch. Yeah, fielding. Reflex fielding catches are done with the right stick and uh, slide dive manual fielding sprint tap back non-strikers and relay throw okay these are the throws you can do when fielding so only you need to take reflex fielding catches otherwise you just need to move your fielder into the circle to take that catch automatically unlike dbc 14 where you have to press the up on the maybe the left analog stick or the right one maybe the left one yeah i don't remember let's do an off break this time and that would be a bouncer short ball fielding is still so hard for me even though we are playing in the easy difficulty for bowling as well Let's do an arm ball, good length. Yeah. <laughs> Yo! This has to be a key to this bang lineup, but out first ball, that's a massive wicket. So he tried to play a reverse sweep, but the keeper was clever. Of course, gave a few too many away in that He's over. MS. Island, two for he should be clever. Even in the games. I love it. Remember this is a five hours match. You also need to shine the ball by pressing the down on the D-pad. So your ball swings. Let's do another arm ball and make it flighty. Short length. Oops. Bounces just short of the road. Mm, so I think so that AI knows this is a five hours match. And I love that. I hate games especially cricket games where the AI is so so bad see four runs there ah, I hate this issue in the Don Bradman cricket games where a fielder doesn't know how to save a boundary and don't talk about cricket 22 because it is the worst game 
made by Digan Studio. That's a straight drive. What a glorious shot! Nice throw, man. And three for one. Let's do off break this time with light. I'm not explaining all the controls for balling, uh, batting and bowling in this video. So make sure you thoroughly check them out. Or maybe someday I will do a bowling tutorial as I did a batting tutorial. Maybe I am forgetting to change the field. And can you run AI like nice out in this game? That's still a mystery for me. L let's just yeah the fielders are somewhat okay but this is the fourth over so just choose a defensive fielding preset for the spin bowler what do you guys say come on don't you have any good presets yes that would do apply to all i don't want any slips right now That's massive. We need some really tight overs after this to bring things back. I don't know why I am having this feeling that the AI in this game has vastly improved. Just Pete Boomra, what are you doing sitting here? You are on number two, no. Set active baller with the A key. How to set the active bowler? Set next bowler with the X key. Why are these at number 2? They cannot change him. Why? Okay, let's do this. Let's finish the Bumbra fifth over. Let's have a look at the fielders once again. Choose preset fields. I should go for a defensive field. Why are the fielders still inside the circle? Is it power play in fact? No. Okay, whatever man. Let's just do a standard delivery this time. Loud shout. Oops. Not out. India want to challenge that decision. Let's see what the outcome is. Yeah, you got that right. I have one review, so why don't we use it? I mean, it's just a five hours match. So it will be wasted anyway. Unless, yeah, it is going outside of. So let's cut to the chase. That's pitching outside the line. Pitching outside the decision leg. Will stand. And wickets also missing. That's a poor DRS call, it. but I had to do it just to show you. You can also bowl a faster or slower delivery using the right trigger and left trigger when your bowler is running, and you can also change the bowling length on the fly so if you change your mind to deliver a bouncer instead of a yorker just press that button see i have a poor field setup that's certainly one for the highlight reel. that is so frustrating so i will just try to move the fielders once again Okay, this should do it. Apply to all. And let's see. We have fielders on the offside. As he's a left-hander, of course. So we will 
ball according to plan and remember if you don't ball according to the plan you will be smashed pretty badly just like this they don't care they can easily find the gap and i like that let's do an outswinger good length yeah Fielders are pretty useless. Amazing timing. Races past the fielder and to the boundary. See, they are four. scoring way too much in a five overs game. This is the last delivery. I should do a slower bouncer. What do you say? That's cool. And I like it. Being absolutely punished out there. So they knew it was the last ball of the innings. That's the scorecard. And here's the bowling figures. Too bad, so sad. Let's hope we can counter the scores. Batsmen, but they'll need to believe they can do it, or they certainly won't. The commentators are very smart in this game. I mean it's not the best commentary made ever for a cricket game but still it is far better than many other cricket games Matag, the pace bowler is coming into the attack so when you press the up on the d-pad you can see the stamina and confidence for both the batsman plus the bowler and that's what has changed from the dbc 14. Change batting order, transparent wicket keeper plus transparent batsman. You can turn these options on if you want. So if the wicket keeper or batsman is giving you problem in playing, you can do that by pressing up on the D-pad when batting. So let's play this man. The controls are somewhat difficult and I played this early. Still, it should be four. Should be, should be. Gets yeah. Off the mark with four from the first ball. Good shot. Haha. <laughs> so who's the boss now? One thing you may have noticed is I can see the ball circle on the bowler right now, which means he is going to bowl a short ball. So you know, if you have played. Any Don Redman cricket game, you know, red means short ball, blue means Yorker, yellow means good length, and green means, oh, green means good length, and yellow means full length. I played it defensively by holding down the uh, R2 button, and uh, if I tell you a secret, Ah, that was mistimed. But still a four. Yo. Nice shot. So I was about to tell you a secret that the defensive shot was unintentional. I tried to press the L2 instead of the R2 to hit it for the boundary. In the beginning, these controls are can make you confuse. But come on, no man. No. Timing is good, but this what happens in cricket games. Even if your timing is good, footwork is good, you can still lose wickets randomly. Why? I don't really know that. I think the timing, uh, the timing must be ideal to perfectly hit a ball for boundary. So here comes Virat Kohli. And luckily 
we got away with it. Footwork was not very good, uh, as you can see. So if you don't know much about footwork in this game, I would highly recommend you to take a good look at my betting uh, pro tips video. It's not about front foot and back foot only. See this time the footwork is ideal. The timing was good. Short choice was ideal. So the ball went to the boundary easily. We have to score so much so we cannot rest. The timing was good, short choice was ideal, footwork was ideal, but still the ball did not travel too far. Rahan, now oh God. Six. I need boundaries, man. I don't want to lose wickets. Yeah, that was the shot. Even the footwork was incorrect. So footwork works in a way like say clockwise. 1 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 7 o'clock and um, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock. You need to move the left analog stick on the relative position before playing the shot else you are screwed that was a late shot man you cannot take a run if the ball hits the stumps same like don bradman cricket 14 the shot was early the footwork is good one bounce and four. Remember, we are playing in easy batting difficulty and easy bowling difficulty plus pro AI difficulty. The right armor is the new bowler. You can adjust positioning of crease with the left analog stick. Ideal, ideal and good. Always take a look at the timing window graph when you play a shot so you know what you are doing wrong and what could have you done. And always take a look at the current fielding by holding down R2 and you have to manually see where are the fielders. So you don't play a wrong shot just like DBC 14. We have a fielder on log on, so now I know it. That's a straight drive, what a glorious shot. That's gone again. Ideal, ideal and short choice was poor because I played it on the long off and the ball was coming on the leg side but still I managed to get away with it. Long off is empty, but we have to take some risks. Always take a look at the ball marker. And play a shot. That's a huge shot. And that's three sixes in a row. So there are three sixes in this hour so far. Rahani is now on 26. So we need 25 of 14 balls. See, it's still not an easy target here. But now I'm getting the hang of the batting. Beware of the slow balls from the AI as they are very dangerous.
I'm very angry, man. You did the same to me. Well, that over was a joy to watch. The runs flowing freely. India won for 55. So India needs 15 of 12. Still don't know what could have happened here. Very nice there from Terry. <clears throat> so they have brought in a spin bowler this time and uh, there are no fielders on the boundaries this time i would like to play on the leg side let's see if i can that's a bad shot and i know it as the short choice was poor and the timing was early even though the footwork was ideal. The timing what makes the most important thing to play a good shot. So the new batsman for India is UV. This is getting excited. Oh, good fielding Matt. Oh, I how great work in the field. That's out. I thought the fielder had the ball. Huge disappointment. And I never noticed that he threw it back to the keeper quickly. And I tried to run once again, and that's what happened. Fish. Anyway, MSD is here, and I'm angry. That's a direct hit. <clears throat> Timing was late. And even for a spin bowler. Oh, good thing we don't have someone at the long on. So let's try to play in that area. Delightfully yeah, driven to the why not? Let's take two. Come on. Really good Hold down there. the R2 key to run between the wickets. They still don't have anyone on the long on area. A bit of work for the fielders to do here. Yes. It's a solid shot. Timing was, I think, early, maybe late, who knows. End of the over. So I think the yellow color is for early timing. Let's take a look at the field setup. Okay. Here's come another spin bowler. We have to take singles at our all costs. So see, even I'm playing in the easy difficulty, the game is still not easy for me. Come on, yeah. That goes for four. What a good shot. That was some relief. The ball went through the fielder and I have this complaint with the Don Bradman cricket games where fielders are somewhat lazy sometimes. I mean he could have dived. See? Oh, nice he could have there. tried Four to run. save this boundary as well. But there's not enough of a target the match is over to really make a game of it. And India won by seven wickets. That's all the cricket for now. Hope to have more for you soon. But for now, James and myself say, see you next time. I skipped this game for a very long time. I mean, when it came back in 2017, I didn't take notice as Don Bradman Cricket 14 wasn't uh, look very good to me or wasn't very good to me so I skipped to Ashes Cricket 2017 and then Cricket 19 and I was not uh, very inspired by the Cricket 19 or even the latest Cricket 22 either so I kept thinking that I should have played this game as well 
and now I think this is a real good entertainment and I will highly recommend you to play this game as you have seen for yourself anything you think of this game let me know in the comment section that's it for today from irrational gamer i'm evil and i will see you in another video until then goodbye